Hi, and welcome to another episode of the Azure Perfume Quick Start series. Today, I would like to talk about classification and classification rules in Perfume. As I talked in one of the previous uh, Perfume <coughs> Quick Start videos, there are different steps when uh, the data landscape is uh, scanned by Perfume. And there is one part of the story where data classification kicks in. And data classification is on the one hand done automatically by Perfume, and you can override and edit those classifications. And slides are good, but I think demo is the best uh, thing to show you the uh, approach how Perfume really does the scanning and the classification. Let's dive into the demo. In my Perfume account, I've already registered several sources different kind of sources, databases, uh, data lakes, Power BI, and so on. What is needed in order to not only get the technical inventory, the schema, the columns, and so on and so forth, but in addition, some type of classification, data classification, Perfume has the concept of classifications. Classifications, in the minimum sense, it's just a name. It's a name with a formal name. And there are, I think, 200 plus classifications already provided by Microsoft, starting with uh, the definition of Australian um, passport number. And there are also different definitions for different countries, like Austria driver's license, identity card, passport number, and so on. But there are also some definitions for classifications like phone numbers, US phone numbers, EU phone numbers and so on. So different kind of data, well, information pieces that are applied to data. And there are not only those system classifications, you as a data worker in Perfume, well, you are allowed and you are able to create your custom classifications. And I would like to create a new custom classification. That's the new classification for the video. And there is not much to do. It's just the name and a description. The name is needed. So I'm going to add that one. And that's the first thing. The classification itself, it's just the name. It's not more. What we need to do and have a look at are the classification rules. That is the real logic and magic, how Perfume uh, gets to know more about your data. So classification rules are required. And classification rules are also provided by Microsoft for those system classifications. So there is at least one uh, classification rule that is uh, attached to a classification, a system classification. And how does Perfume classify the data? There's one link over here, and there are two different approaches. First, data is only read during the scan definition. So during the scan process, data is read from the source. There is no data itself stored within Perfume. That's really, really, really important. And there are some minimum matches how data is classified. First, it's the distinct data threshold. So there is a minimum number of distinct values that are required. Uh, currently, it's set to eight or at least eight distinct values. And uh, that is needed that Perfume has a look at the data plus tries to apply some classification rules. And uh, there is a minimum match threshold, which means that 60% of the data must match that in order Perfume can apply a classification. And there are a huge number of classifications. I've already shown you those classifications. And there are two data classification approaches. They are mentioned in the documentation. It's first of all, it's regex and it's a bloom filter. Regex, regular expressions, we will see it in the demo later. It's a way to define a rule for a string and to find some patterns within a string. The Bloom filter itself, it's some kind of um, 
I would call it dictionary or let's look for a value in a set approach. And the Bloom filter classifications, they are provided and implemented for things like city, country and place. So there is a well-known list of cities. There's a well-known list of countries and places all around the world. And there is an almost well-known number and list of persons uh, and person names like those two uh, data sets have been used to train the uh, classification for data or for person names. On the other side, the regex classifications, well, they are defined on a pattern. And for all those definitions, you can see here, there is a definition and um, the, let's move to the driver's license, for example, <clears throat> how the driver's license in Austria is classified. It's eight digits and there are some keywords because classification rules, and I will jump back to the definition of the classification rules. There are two ways how data can be classified. It's the data itself. So it's a data rule. And on the other side, there are column based rules. So names for columns. Now let's dive into the custom list. I've already prepared some classifications over here. Like for today's example, I would use my Wolfis customers and Wolfis Kunden reference and classification. So all my customer numbers are following a certain pattern. The pattern is defined in the classification rules. I'm going to use a data pattern using the reg expression way. So regular expression. And that kind of weird string like defines, we have KU, which is customer, Kunde in German. And then we've got four digits that are following. And every time Perfu finds some sort of pattern during the scan process, the classification process, well, it applies the classification. And that classification rule can be defined here, custom classification. We can create a new one. I'm gonna copy that one. Um, we've got the demo classification rule over here. And it's a naming thing. And we need to pick a classification because the classification rule is just there to define a classification, to find a classification. So we're going to look for all of these customers. And there is, well, two ways how we can define custom classifications. It's the regular expression way and it's a dictionary. Way. So we can upload a list of possible values and if the data in the specific column follows and is contained in the dictionary, well, the classification is applied. I'm going to stick to the regular expression over here. Um, and we can define two ways. We can define a data pattern and or we can define a column pattern. So we can define the type of and the pattern the data has to follow. And on the other side, we can define a column pattern, like every time the, the column starts with customer, cost, whatever, that classification should be applied. If you're not sure how to build regular expression, there is the way of uploading a sample file containing data and Perfu just provides you with some options over there, how uh, the classification rule can be applied. What I'm going to do is I just enter that one, my data pattern, and I'm um, going to have a look. 60% is the minimum batch uh, threshold, and I'm going to hit create. Now, that classification rule, demo classification rule is there. It is applied to the customers. So, OK. It should be applied over here. No, it's not here. That's that's strange. It should be listed here for the classification rules over here. Yeah, now it's here. Refresh has done it. But no new data is classified. 
And uh, as we've seen in the last time, uh, those classification rules, they need to be applied and included into the um, existing scan rule sets. So we've got scan rule sets over here. And what we need to do and what we want to do is I'm going to extend my custom classification rule for my data set. I'm going to go here, file extensions are the same, and I'm including the demo classification rule. Continue, update. And every time a new scan is run, like we see here, a new scan is run, those classification rules are applied, data is searched, and if it follows a certain rule, that classification is applied. And what can you do with the classification? Well, if we have a look at our data catalog, our data map, uh, searching for customers, there is the filter over here, and we can use the filter for a classification that only those tables containing the classification Wolfis Kunde over here or Wolfis customers to that one and we can jump to a data asset as you can see there's the schema classification over here so let's move to the schema and the field kunden number customer number well wolfie's customer classification is applied over here what you can do in addition you can apply a classification at the asset level itself i'm gonna edit that one and i'm gonna add that classification at the asset level itself. And if we move back, we've got the classification at the asset itself and the schema classification is applied. So to sum it up, data classification allow you and your data map to be more specific, to get more knowledge about the data itself that is stored. And the classification, it's just a name. The real magic lies in the classification rule, and classification rules can be regex-based or dictionary-based. And there are more than 200 classifications and appropriate classification rules within Perfu available. And with that, I hope you enjoyed the demo and see you next time and enjoy your data catalog, classify your data and see you next time.